Hi, so just a quick video here to demonstrate the capabilities of Bauma's ultrasonic fork sensor that we have here. I've got it hooked up to our IOLink uh, master, wireless master here, so I can show you effectively the outputs and also the stability and the measurement of uh, the values. Uh, the LEDs on the top, the green one showing the stability and the red output in the middle is showing us um, whether it's gap or label. Um, so to set it up, you can set it up via the buttons on the top or you can set it up via our link. Um, I'll just quickly show you what it is on a dynamic teach. So just run your um, labels through like so. And that's our teach function done. So it's same through the buttons really. And now you can see I'm on a label, the output is active. You see the LEDs on in the middle there. If I run over a gap, there you go, inactive. On a label again, active. Inactive over the gap there, just overrun. And then you can see if you're running through, the outputs go on and off. So, the LED will show you the status faster than the phone will because of the speed that we're running at. But just to show you, very stable in terms of detection. So that's a nice metalized label. Now to show you one of the trickier uh, combinations that we have, um, transparent label on a paper backing. The sensor can do this quite well. So again, Let's set her up into Dynamic Teach. Get it in, like so. Go to Dynamic Teach. And stop. Okay. Now let's have a look at the sensor. So, over the label, we see the output is active. Over the gap there, you see inactive. On the label again, active. Over the gap there, inactive. So if I run you through that again, You can see that working quite well. See, at the speed I'm running at, the LED works faster than the phone. But if I run you through in slow speed again, over the gap, inactive, on the label, active. There we go. So just to show you on something trickier again, some very thin metalized labels, very shiny on a paper backing. Uh, doing the setup procedure as so. This one should work actually straight out of the box. You can see the LEDs reacting very quickly, faster than the phone will, on, on and off on there. But if I go nice and slow, so here we are, over the label there, active, in the gap, inactive, on the label, active, in the gap, inactive, Again, so you can see how quickly the LED is responding to that. So just to summarize, the ultrasonic uh, fork label sensor here is a really nice, easy, convenient solution for all of your labels, but particularly the trickier applications like transparent labels, uh, transparent labels on transparent backing, transparent labels on paper backing, and even metalized labels on uh, paper or transparent backing. And very super simple to use even on your standard type labels. So it's an all-in-one solution really for all of your labeling um, detection applications. Of course, with the sensor being IO-Link compatible, uh, you've got access to a lot of different settings. If I go back 
you'll see you can do the teaching, the input output uh, functions, adding timers, etc. Um, also, uh, putting the upper and lower limits uh, change, and also how you want the output to react normally open, normally closed, um, etc. etc. And like I said, time filters and all the other uh, options that you may want. And of course, what you want output one, output two to do, and how you want the external teach to be performed. So, yeah, you can use it as a standard switched uh, or use the button uh, inputs, outputs, um, or you can do it all via IO link with the ultrasonic sensor.